Hello and welcome to the 12th edition of Dubai International Film Festival. I am Sabir Haq and it's a pleasure and honor to welcome Kamal Swaroop, the director of Battle, for, Battle of Banaras. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you. Uh, the first question, I mean, um, obviously that film, this film has not reached the Indian audience. Yeah. And in one of your interviews regarding the censorship issue that is that film is facing, you said that the censor board told you no cuts can justify a film like this. I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a comment which is coming from censor board, you yeah. know, and um, they're not even they're not even willing to take up, uh, you know, uh, to even discuss about the film. So how does it make how does it make you feel? See, if, if you have something definite that uh, they can object to, then uh, they can say, okay, this. But uh, in the film, there's nothing definite that they can say, okay, this is objectionable. So they say the whole film is objectionable. So, uh, I mean, it's quite funny, but uh, somewhere I know that, uh, you know, they, they, they are, they, you know, like since it's uh, about... Uh, election and the Modi ji is now a Prime Minister of India. Right. So they are saying ki if we pass a film like this, maybe the later people might say ki why did you pass this and why... You know, so they are just presuming or speculating ki they, it's possible that you know somebody will say later, you know. Otherwise, uh, the way people are talking in the film, I mean, you hear that in television or something, you know. But the television has no censorship, you know later maybe but to say they might say like yesterday i was talking to somebody who said kamal i'll never forget that shot where modi ji is uh, climbing the stage and uh, he is doing namaskar to people and suddenly pushes away this bodyguard you know you know so i mean it's like his body language you know that uh, he is trying to perfect his being the leader of the masses but somewhere he betrays his body language and you realize that he is so uh, not that good with his own bodyguard or the security right, people. Right, in right. So there are moments where you don't speak but you see the body, language, the body language of people you know, yeah. and you uh, realize that the shallowness of their you know bad acting you know because after all the politics is also like election is also a kind of a theatre, you know, true, it's also true. a theatre right. and the leaders are also actors and they have to seduce to the masses but you know like in a camera you can't hide your shortcomings so somewhere it betrays your body language and you realize this you know guy hasn't perfected himself into projecting the image he wants to project in you know. I think I mean um, in your film also I mean I have your, your film is inspired from the book by Elias Kennedy, uh, Crowds and Power, and it talks about mob, you know, it talks about mob and uh, paranoia. And you often hear this term called Modi wave, you know, that yes, swept the yes, country. Yes. And we saw the results that happened in the election as well. So how do you draw a parallel between, you know, the, the, the mob justice, you know, in a way, or the, 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 what the mob drives, uh, and, and, and how your film basically portrays it? I mean, how did you draw that parallel? See, we uh, see the uh, mob, it wants to increase, you know. So how do you increase and create a kind of a hysteria where uh, when you fill all the space around you and it almost like is that when no other is visible in that space. Hmm. So it means the other has disappeared or died. And because of his death, you have become more and more. And I don't know if it's uh, uh, it has come naturally or the media has understood the uh, certain anthropological idea and they are uh, using it strategically into the um, controlling the consciousness of the masses, you know, you know. But this Modi hysteria was orchestrated, you know, like the idea of this mask, you know, like, okay, you might say that Everybody turning into Modi, you know. I mean, you see all Modi masks. That so crowd. It, it is. Yeah, exactly. And now, like, uh, for example, there is in the film, one person says about this, uh, the character about barbaric, you know. Yeah, exactly. In the beginning of the movie. And, yeah. and uh, he is watching the, his head the entire chop, chop, And he says, I am seeing only Krishna fighting, you know. There's it's all, everywhere. It's, it's all, him. it's Krishna, yeah. you know, you know. True. So this idea is Puranic, you know, you know, but uh, it is played out 
you know in, in and with the through media, the political uh, strategies you know into true. the projection into the masses or the reception so uh, so you can see how they're doing it you know so creating so much hysteria that the you know like the other the uh, the the opposition had already retreated to their invisible corners you know they had gone into the invisibility you know so yeah. it increased uh, more and more you know you know so Correct. even the people who are not traditionally the bjp voters they they they, pulled, they, they got pulled, pulled in you know got it i mean i mean um, like keeping all those issues aside i think um, there was one scene in your film where it's a, it's a typical scene i believe that happens in bananas very often where you actually uh, where you actually sit in a uh, uh, that chai ki shop chai ki shop and then people are Pappu chai yeah exactly people are discussing you know things so openly and there is obviously a difference of opinion but i think that's that's democracy right i mean yes. and, and you see the film is about celebration of democracy yes i mean um, what i wanted to know is uh, did you see that in this elections and particularly you were in the epicenter in a way um, and that's in a way getting so well uh, reflected in your film so tell us about that whole idea of letting people speak of different opinions see the uh, banaras specializes into the spectacles you know you know it is imaginative very imaginative place and it has supplied the these uh, spectacles from the time past you know you know in fiction in concocting uh, mythology out of the political uh, conflicts or um, integrating various kinds of ideology into a common ideologies uh, uh composite figures out of uh, various sex hmm. so this banaras allows that that you know because it is a republic and only a republic where the people rule there's a possibility or a healthy survival that there is a con constant arguments dialogues the the freedom to represent your own minds or your uh, aff affiliations sure. or your uh, uh, history and it grows and negotiates with each other right and maybe goes into a much more healthy state otherwise they would have been uh, banaras would have been dead you know if uh, it would have decayed if that kind of a thing this man who is today praising bjp you know you know or modi you know modi lair and he is very hysterical about it tomorrow he might say no he is a, modi is an idiot you know you know because what i feel that we are our minds are very composite mind you know you know a bit is made of uh, this uh, ideology the bit is made of this and when it reveals itself or when it projects itself it has a sequential order you know like it's a very funny thing in like my childhood memory in about ajmer i had a friend you know who three month of his in the year he will live like a hindu mm -hmm. next three months suddenly uh, there will be some kind of a jinn on his head you know he will live like a musliman next three month he'll live <laughs> like a christian you know and but you have to know you know which bhoot is going to ride on his head you know you know, you know. so everybody you know like i might be pro bjp you know and tomorrow i might be anti you know so True. there is a order right and uh, there is some kind of impredictability about it but this what keeps us healthy you know you know you know that this openness this, this openness. openness that i might change my mind you know this change you know that i'm not rigid right. you know I, i mean i can get influenced by other and so i think that uh, was happening in the pappu their friends they But are the, so uh, uh, they you know? together they are every day they'll be uh, you know coming there and they are all from bhu you know right so they will so, vocal uh, about your opinion they 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 and they eat together you know drink together so that is good thing about banaras you know you know i mean um, i was noticing in your film in a very when, when it starts you have covered all the 40 uh, you know candidates who were fighting for election in banaras and you almost gave equal coverage when i saw the movie you uh, gave equal amount of screen time yes. to to bsp to sp but towards the end of the film it pretty much became a aam aadmi party fight with modi 
was that something that took you by surprise also you see the from the beginning you know like uh, people were saying it's a fight between the kejriwal and the modi even before the election started but the different political parties they didn't believe it you know like mayawati was saying that i mean kejriwal hasn't gathered any votes so far you know he is an outsider and uh, only uh, fame uh, was that in delhi you know or television famous in you know. so everybody was sure about their traditional votes you know, you know they didn't believe that how can two outsiders you know can take over you know especially kejriwal you know right you know. bjp uh, modi was there to because there is a lot of gujarati population in banaras and um, you know like the brahmins know that our interests are or the merchant class right knows that our interests are with the bjp so they had accepted him as a leader and this idea about the gujarat model right. was right. well model well model well so uh, but the media wanted to play on the kejriwal and the modi because they look you know like the, they were looking for the better actors you know you know the other guys who were in the game now there was a one kind called called jaiswal right. you know again a merchant class representing the bsp you know right. they were sure that we have a fix we won't win but we have say 1 and 1/2 lakhs or 2 lakhs yeah, it's all basically a number game a number mean, game in yeah. in that conversation with andrew film it just muslims yeah, yeah. eat a vote it, you, know, you know basically so, yeah. basically samajwadi also uh, we have this you know congress pure maths if you look at it congress was uh, this guy was Ajay, right. not a con congress yeah. guy you know he was independent also right. he Earlier. has uh, bjp also right so i don't think the congress wanted to be in the game you know you know like everybody was saying the kejriwal is actually a mukhota you know of the congress you there was a lot a lot of people saying that a lot, lot of people saying that you know so th they were not you know you know but so kejriwal i have a feeling because uh, the ansari who was uh, uh, in, in the end of the film he, he, he talks he, about he he was supposed to work with me right so i was offering him some com amount of money then i went with him as a researcher right then i went to the aap office right. he i think got a better offer there you know, <laughs> you know. so, uh, so in between the eligis changed uh -huh. okay interesting so he said why not there you know you know and uh, and uh, uh, the whole idea was that they were coming together because the whole idea was that bjp should win so all the intellectuals or ex congress you know i mean because, because since congress is because no chance because all the intellectuals right. uh, the congress has been the pattern right. to all the intellectuals and the leftist minded people right. you know you know the left liberal i mean left yeah. liberal oh, is a congress you know so they also realized ki okay this guy has a better chance but you know like so they were all turning against the modi right now who could they support they can't support mayawati they have a contempt for her bsp they have a contempt these are the poorest people unskilled people so they have a contempt for the mayawati right. no television will ever cover her ndtv will say that our glamorous ndtv television get dirty by her sadis you know you know or her, her, her looks you know you that's after yeah yeah it's yeah, a fact that's, that's... it's a fact you know they will not allow they might say great ambedkar or ye wo and but anybody from ambedkar kind of a thing they will never support it's they after, it's after elitist i mean that's it's after that's... elitist you know, yeah. you know so they got got together and they were creating this public opinion about the kejriwal you know so so that that's why you know like i mean um, and mayawati also you know because they don't have the people who are educated you know you know i mean they claim ambedkar or kashiram or uh, uh, shauji maharaj right but they haven't trained the cadre into a certain kind of a intellectual activity or certain kind of a oratory you know you know so that's why you know like i used to talk of, talk to them about do you have you read broken man hmm. what does bhangi means you know they had no idea you know but only thing is they they have a trust in mayawati you know all these poor people because everybody has a contempt for it's, them it's you completely know. caste based anyway after all i mean i know. would rather say that everybody needs a manual worker you know you know so they they create caste because my theory is that they uh, you know like say say the high skill people hmm. say like all the muslims in banaras they are the most skilled people right or say the uh, all prajapati and vishwakarma and all the crafts people you know they were the producers themselves once upon a time you know you know and they used to sell 
then the trader came in between so in order to exploit this producer a high skilled man they turned them into low caste you know you know to so it's, show, it's purely you know, an, a purely an economical model in a way that has been put into place but politically they they have been you know oppressed deliberately so that they can be exploited you know you know but they are the they are the actual producers they are the actual and they belong to the prajapati and lord brahma i used to actually my theory was the actual brahmins are these guys who are the actual so called uh, you know like you know skilled people yeah, yeah, you know yeah. people who run the ha uh, but the only thing is the, that's why the the whole idea in bjp i mean the banaras was also to subjugate the muslim skilled people so the trading class and the brahmin class of the banaras can exploit them they were you know they were proposing to them that they they, they, they you leave this madanpura leave this banaras you know like localities will turn that into the tourist uh, you know area bring hotels there and you will give you a new factory sheds where you are a worker in near sarnath you know, you know. Mm-hmm. so the whole you know like muslim areas are picked up and planted there you know you know because here what is happening that the houses are small and they still have this uh, hand hand bloom machines right, you know right you don't have spaces for the electric run machine right. in one family you know if there's a uh, one loom it it is inherited by one son of course it just goes much and they can't it. dig the earth to plant the more looms you know you know right. so they also don't know how to go about it but they still are the highest skilled people you know you know i mean even if they have the electrically run machines but uh, there is some kind of a craft you know you know, you know. so the main uh, they could sense that fear they could right. sense that fear right you know, you know. right i mean the congress was at least give them a kind of a moral support you know but they realize here they they are going to play you know a very different game you know, you know. so they were very fearful of right. the my last question is on your uh, form the form that you choose for documentary um uh, it is a participatory form of documentary film because the filmmaker is uh, is is involved in the in the storyline and you are there and you know it begins with you and the political analyst uh, was it a conscious choice um uh, for choosing this particular method if so why see what happened that uh, in this situation uh first thing is you know like i i can't articulate in language you know so uh, uh, i don't think in language a- at all the second thing was i had uh, read the elias kennedy so that was my lens through which i am going to look at it you know, right you know. the, and more into the graphic formulation of the crowd formation right or how it is spread uh, over a, ge- a geographical area you know so my uh, uh, first thing was that okay this is the map of the banaras in my room i used to have banaras each party has their programming ki uh, we are going for the campaign there and this community lives there and this voters live there so they have a programming so we will send our team to just physically cover that uh, capture that uh, programming within that space and just observe how the movements is take, physical movement is taking place my role is that of an actor you know that a certain kind of a statisticity as happen you know there there's no movement happening or it's a very neutral uh, space so my is to enter there activate it you know so there is a movement you know and when the move or a disruption so when that begins the the cameraman has to be so has to have a strong reflexes that it records it you know you know so narration is already there because uh, there is a 40 days of the programming happening true, you know true. we are just physically capturing it and uh, uh, i am turning it into my interest by just disrupting a bit and as an act- actor yeah. then when it starts moving then the ca- ca- camera guys are ready because in this situation you can't direct you know ki place your camera there or place there no, i think that adds a lot of uh, lot lot of realism I mean that's yes. what I, that's what I loved about the film it is so realistic and it is there the drama is there you don't have to really orchestrate anything it's just there you just have to be there and and we are just making a map exactly. and we know okay okay these people are going to move and going to stop there 
So one guy on the motorcycle has to already reach there, right. take a position. Right. So the trail will come forward to the exactly, camera. Exactly. The guy who is behind has to now ride on the motorcycle and go on to that point, already take a position on a terrace. So you get the whole serpentine uh, body. The an, Another guy has to use his tele lens, take a position so that he can have the close up of the Modi in the car. So it is all worked on the map like a, you know. It's a very well planned, everything put together. Means, yeah, because I have a training in uh, mapping because I used to, I, I was assistant in Gandhi, right. Richard Attenborough. To so, manage big crowd. Uh, That's the whole idea. So uh, one single person can't see it, no. Because he is with inside the crowd. So you have to s make a map of the uh, the whole thing, you know. Because, you know, in uh, uh, foreign films, the the chief uh, chief assistant is the most important person because he's called the captain of the ship. So they work like a cartographer, you know, because they have to maneuver the whole ship. So it has to be worked on on a on a map, you know, first, you know. You know. So I mean, it's a. Um, I really wanted to go on, but I think we have short okay. time. So, okay. um, all the best with your film. I'm sure it's been very, very well received in Dubai, and there's a screening happening tomorrow. Yes, so all yes. the best with that, and thank you so much for joining us today, thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that was Kamal. And Swarup. best of luck to everybody. That was Kamal Swarup, and we are so glad to have him here, and we wish him all the best for his film, and we hope that it gets more success. It goes outside, and of course, also gets a chance to screen in India. India. And we wish you all the best, sir. Thank you so much and thanks for joining us.